In Corinthians it says, There is one body, but it has many parts, but all its many parts make up one body. Catholic Foundation supports the various efforts that sustain, nourish and grow our church. As one body, strong families are the basic units of the church. Your family itself actually is a church, the first small domestic church. It is in that family, in that home, that we first begin to experience love. That's why it's so fundamental and important that the family thrive. If the family is the domestic church, we as parents, we as families, need to make it into a domestic church. The Archdiocese and Commission for the Family is about evangelizing families and a family's evangelizing. ACF has made efforts to promote Catholic teachings, address unmet needs of Catholic families, build and deepen its relationship with family partners, and form networks of ministries and centers to support family life. Enabling strong evangelizing families and marriages, we strengthen the fabric of the church. We are all baptized by one Holy Spirit. Filled with the Spirit, young people bring vibrancy and life to the church. Young people, they are very important, tangible sign that the church is still alive. I never thought I would be at a place where I can say, you know, I'm okay. I know this freedom really comes with learning to trust God more and more each day. And He calls me to confidence and trust in Him because I know He promises that He will lead me in the right paths. I experienced a warm and loving embrace, as if Jesus were hugging me. I felt my sins being washed away. After being away from Him for so long, to me it felt like I had returned home. The Office for Young People seeks to raise a generation of young people passionately in love with Jesus and His Church. OYP organizes various retreats and outreaches to deepen the faith of our youth, developing new programs to meet the growing pastoral needs of our young people. We are all formed into one body. For generations, Catholic education has been moulding the future. The Archdiocese and Commission for Catholic Schools seeks to strengthen Catholic ethos and support the provision of religious education of students in local Catholic schools. The primary role of teacher, more than just imparting information, a teacher is called to excite his or her students. It is how we motivate our students so that they can be leaders, leaders of society, or people with integrity and character. Through formation, our faith is shaped with the truth. Formation is of great importance if the Archdiocese were to grow, if our lay people evangelize and to be able to be co-responsible for the mission of the Church. The Office for Catechists provides training and formation for catechists, including parish-based children's and youth catechists, special needs catechists, RCIA, and liturgy of the word with children. The whole purpose of catechists is to make them disciples of Jesus. That is our goal. Helping a person to encounter Jesus, to praise Jesus, to be in connection with Jesus. It is how do we make this child into a faith believer. It is an urgent need of the church to have faithful who are formed in the faith, who know what they believe, why they believe it. It is important to build the human and organizational capacity of the Catholic Church in Singapore. The CF Scholarship Fund 
currently seeks to support further studies by church workers in recognized qualification on pastoral and theological studies. In order to better equip Catholic laity with the necessary knowledge of the church's teaching, the Catholic Theological Institute of Singapore was established for the systematic formation in Catholic theology. CTIS structures its theological formation curriculum for candidates preparing religious life as well as for Catholic laity, forming Catholics in the gospel truth. God has placed each part of the body just as He wanted it to be. On 22nd August 2018, the St. Francis Xavier Seminary was blessed and opened, housing both CTIS and the seminary. This was made possible due to the generosity of the many who gave to the St. Francis Xavier Seminary Building Fund. For the chapel, classrooms, hall and a library, the heart of our Archdiocese will continue to pulse for generations to come. We must continue to grow and sustain our places of worship. The church owns a number of properties on which the respective parish churches and other diocesan organizations are accommodated. Some of these properties sit on leasehold land and will require a renewal of lease. Sinking funds have been set up for the renewal of the land and buildings in parishes and the archdiocese. Other infrastructure projects include the Archdiocesan Hub, which will be a vibrant centre with shared facilities among various archdiocesan organisations that will support more programmes and retreats for the renewal of the church. As various parts of the body, all of us will take care of one another. We care for our shepherds, who have cared for us. So our priests spend their whole life working for the church. We must care for them to show our gratitude. With over 150 priests in the Archdiocese of Singapore, and a third of whom have been in this vocation for more than 30 years, we need to care for the well-being of our elderly shepherds. The Clergy Welfare and Retirement Fund ensures the continued caring and their well-being. It is our responsibility as church uh, to care for them in their old age. We have to see how we can help provide the right support, emotional, medical support. They can continue to do what they like to do so that they can live in a fulfilling way. Catholic Foundation helps to cover funds for living expenses, medical and other welfare needs of the clergy. A retirement residence along Changi Road has been set aside for this. The Bethany East Fund was set up to enable individuals to contribute specifically to the renovations of the Bethany East residence. It has been optimally designed to be elderly friendly. Being in communion with one another, we bring Christ to all. Communion is accepting that we all grow according to the strengths that we have. And we all should be allowed to grow in Christ Jesus. We so one with each other. Our common union is in Christ. The Office for the New Evangelization is tasked to provide formation and resources to the faithful, create more platforms to facilitate an encounter with Jesus Christ, and equips the faithful to go out and be witnesses in the world. All of us having one objective, bringing Jesus to the others. The Jesus for everyone, by everyone. That's communion. We are the body of Christ. Each one of us is a part of it. Together as one, let us build a vibrant, evangelistic, and missionary church. Let us rally to the vision of the Archdiocese, be fully alive in our faith, and be givers of our time, talent, and treasures to build the church. We have a mission 
to bring Christ to the world. Let us build the church today for tomorrow.